Right, hello guys, welcome back to the next part of the Monster Hunter Let's Play. First we'll talk to this woman, the fishmongress. So basically what she's telling us, um, to say yes to her so you can... Right, basically I'm just going to go through this a bit faster. And what it is basically going to be, I'll I'll show you now. What you do is you go on this and you um, press A to dispatch the fleet. You tell them to go where you want them to go, which will be Murga Cursed or Dark Waters. Depending on which one you go to, it'll either pick up treasure or it'll pick up fish. So for now, I'm going to tell them to go to the Cursed. And if you've got anything for them, you can use the thing down here. Now I've got a fish found finder earlier, even, which I'm going to use, which will mean they'll pick up more fish. It costs you resources to do this, so make sure you go out into the forest every so often to get more resources to be able to keep using them. Uh, the reason that guy don't want to talk to me anymore is because he was the captain of one of the boats, but it's nothing too major. Right, every so often Junior will get uh, these little requests as well. Basically now I need to get 80 resources to make a shroom box. Um, I think the shroom box will basically give me more mushrooms when you grow them, so yeah. Right, so, <laughs> yeah, just ribbing me about a casket, yeah, that's nice of you. Anyway, so, um, that's basically all I had to say. Now, if I talk to her, <laughs> I might still, uh, anyway, that is get some new quests, hopefully. And kinda heavy guidebook. Basically, um, every so often she'll tell you what the monsters actually are, in a sense, but it's nothing really to worry about. But the urgent request will give me... Oh, wait, no, I don't want to uh, do that yet. Sorry. Right, um, the agent quest basically just gives me some more stuff. Uh, it gives me more quests after it. What I'm going to do this episode is I'm going to run out here and just explore the woods a little bit. I'm going to do a little bit of mining until the pickaxe breaks, which could be any time, and try and get a, a little bit of resource. Um, I'll try not to over go over the time limit, but if I do, I'll probably just keep going. Um, cut off the last bit of it, but I'll notice when it's when I've gone over it. Um, what I'm basically out here to do is I should really have gone to free, but whatever. What I'm really basically out here to do is to run over to six, kill a few jaggy, run into seven, do a bit of mining, and then go back to the village. I'll do the Nerla for Ludroth one in a few minutes, but I want to get some more supplies first. And it'd be nice to get a bit of resource as well, so. I should really be putting the Great Sword away after every. Like, whenever I'm walking up to the creatures, unless they're close to me as it would give me a lot better chance of actually hitting them. Oh. Yeah. That just proves how bad a shot I am. Oh. Really? A Jaggy can survive that? Oh. I was hoping I could get him with a backswing. Yeah, that move seems to be a lot weaker than the... Um, downward swing. 
Also, if I come over here and smack this guy in the face. God. I can't wait until I get a, a weapon with a better swing. The sword and shield is actually pretty decent for it, but I don't like using it because of how weak it is. But um, I think... I could be wrong, but I'll grab this real quick. No, these are just bitter bugs. Uh -oh. And strike. Yeah, I, I knew I was going to miss. I'm not very good at this, am I? You may thumb down this for me being such a terrible shot with a great sword. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Cancel the thumbs down. Ah, or not. I think I was just a bit too far away from him there. Anyway. Um... In this general area is where you pick up spider webs. I don't know whereabouts it is. I can't remember if it's a bug spot, but I think it might be. Um, and you just like keep catching bugs, and it, you'll get spider webs instead of bugs. I could be wrong, but again, I'm not entirely a hundred percent on it. Um, oh, there's something I should show you. I'll do it in a second once I've killed a couple of these. Also, Jagaya will obviously give you more resource points than Jaggy will, so you want to kill them when you get the chance as well. I think they give you 10 each, I could be wrong, I might just be reading that badly. Yep, they give you 10. Right. Oh, God's sake, go away. Right, I've pretty much got the resources needed now. What this spot is, is a special resource spot. Yeah. Basically, all you collect from there are items that are used for resources. So that fossil can really not be used for anything else other than giving to Junior for a, f a few quick resource points. They're always useful though. You get a couple of them every time you go out in the field, so make sure you keep an eye out for them. Uh, there should be some rocks around here I can mine, but I, there's one. Also, note that this rock is blue instead of purple, meaning that you're more likely to get rare, rare, rare ores from it, like machalite. Unfortunately, all I got was iron. I mean, I'm not complaining. Well, I am, but... You know, I, was, I wanted some machalite and I didn't get any, but never mind. I'm sorry if this episode is a bit boring and stuff. I should have... Uh, Featherline. Featherline is not very useful for me. Um, I should have really said it at the beginning, but you can always skip this one, go to the next if you want. But I just want to use this to gather some resource, as it is much needed. I've neglected to do it so far, so I may as well do it now while I have the chance. This herb spot has got a lot of herbs on it. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm dropping the Featherline because it's pretty much useless. You can use it effectively, I suppose, but I've never really seen a real effective use of it. All I know is you can make bombs out of it, and when you make bombs out of it, it can be used on boss creatures to summon Featherlines to come and attack them. Now. I don't see what the point is. Maybe the Featherlines will be amazing against bosses, but I've never really seen it. Plus, if you mess up and the Featherline gas gets on you, then they attack you instead, which you don't want, so... Tick, stay away from me while I'm trying to mine. Again, nobody invited you into this Let's Play. If that thing hits you, then you've got a chance of being uh, paralysed, so I'm going to try and avoid that. Uh, I'm nearly out of time. Oh god. Where's the insect husk? Get rid of it. Right. Lovely. I'll just return to the village now. Right then. Um, as I'm just about out of time, I shall probably cut it off now before we get back to the village. Like, like during this loading screen so this is Pandaman signing off until next time